Today's customers have an increased awareness and commitment to quality and service. This places new demands on dealership technicians who are trying to achieve a high level of customer satisfaction. To assist the technicians in meeting this demand for service excellence, the Ford Parts and Service Division has introduced the Service Technician Specialty Training, STST, program. While developing this improved approach to service training, the technical training staff consulted with the training subcommittee of the National Service Managers Advisory Committee, as well as the District Service Engineers Advisory Committee. The result is a training program that will make available to Ford and Lincoln Mercury technicians the information and skills necessary to fix it right the first time. A full menu of new courses are being developed to fully train technicians in these specialty areas. Engine performance, engine repair, suspension and steering, electrical systems, climate control, manual transmission and drivetrain, automatic transmission and drivetrain, brakes, and pre-delivery. Training schedules provided by your district office will announce when courses relating to these specialties will be offered. This video training presentation is designed to highlight the features of the 4.6 liter modular engine manufactured by the Ford Motor Company. The 4.6 liter modular engine is unique because some components are designed to be interchangeable from one modular engine to another. Examples of this feature would be the pistons, valves, valve springs, and cam followers. They are designed so that the pistons used in the V8 modular engine also can be used in the V6 modular engine. The modular design not only eases the manufacturing process, but also increases the quality control of the parts. A point to note is that the 4.6 liter engine is not freewheeling. If the engine jumps timing, damage to the pistons and valve train can result. The 4.6 liter modular engine is a lightweight high horsepower engine. It is capable of producing 210 horsepower at 4600 RPM, well above that of the 5.0 liter engine. The 4.6 liter engine is called a square engine due to the 90.2 millimeter bore and 90 millimeter stroke. The engine features a newly designed cast iron 90 degree V8 engine block. The engine block includes dedicated positions for accessory component mounting such as the alternator, AC compressor and power steering pump. This design eliminates the need for additional brackets and makes the engine more compact, lighter weight and improves noise and vibration concerns. The crankshaft used in the 4.6 liter engine is made of a cast alloy iron for durability. It is cross-drilled for better oiling of the connecting rods and main bearings. The crankshaft also features rolled journal fillets that add strength and durability. The benefit from this crankshaft design is the ability for it to withstand higher RPMs. This lays the groundwork for improved engine performance and durability. The main bearings used on the 4.6 liter engine are made of aluminum and small in size. They are smaller than conventional main bearings due to the torque to yield fasteners used to secure the main bearing caps. These bolts are manufactured to aircraft quality standards, which basically means that the bolts are precision fasteners manufactured to very exacting tolerances in both material and size. Torque to yield fasteners are used on several components for the 4.6 liter engine. It is important to note that torque to yield fasteners are designed to be used one time only and must be replaced after they have been loosened or removed. These fasteners allow designers to get more work out of the bolt. Smaller size bolts can provide the same force as a larger size bolt because the size of the bolt will be more consistent. In reducing the size of the bolt needed, the size of the component it secures also can be reduced. The result is the ability to use a strong, durable, yet smaller and lighter weight bolt and component. This technology is a great advantage in the development of a powerful, yet smaller and lighter weight engine. In the 4.6 liter engine, the thrust bearing and the number 5 main bearing is a one-piece design. 
The main bearing caps have been designed differently because of using torque to yield bolts. Like the main bearings, the main bearing caps are smaller in size and width and lighter than conventional main bearing caps. The main bearing caps are numbered and have an arrow on them that points to the front of the engine. This makes the assembly of the caps easier. Jack screws and side bolts are used to reduce the amount of distortion the main bearing caps and cylinder block encounter during assembly. Reducing cylinder block distortion allows for a more stable and evenly supported crankshaft. But the use of jack screws and side bolts require a special procedure for installation. The side bolts must be removed first. The jack screws are removed second. These screws have left-hand threads and loosening requires turning them counterclockwise. The main bearing bolts are removed last. The torquing sequence is the reverse order to the detorque sequence. The main bearing bolts are tightened first. The jack screws are torqued second. Remember that these screws are left-hand threads. Tightening requires turning them clockwise. The side bolts are torqued last. These sequences are critical for proper crankshaft support. The pistons used in the 4.6 liter engine are of cast aluminum design with dish dome piston heads. They are small with a shorter skirt area than many other pistons. One compression ring, one compression and scraper ring, and one oil ring are used with these pistons. Each ring is designed differently and cannot be interchanged. The connecting rods used on the 4.6 liter engine are made of compressed iron powder the connecting rods do not have an oil squirt hole to lubricate the piston pins and cylinder walls. Controlled oil leakage through the main and connecting rod bearings allow oil to be slung outward to cool and lubricate the piston heads and cylinder walls. The connecting rod design also uses a crack rod bearing cap rather than a conventional machine bearing cap design. Basically, this design means that the connecting rod and bearing cap is formed as one piece. Then the bearing cap is cracked from the connecting rod. To do this correctly, scribe lines are etched on the inside of the bore, much like a scribe mark on a piece of glass. The connecting rod and bearing cap are then cracked into two parts. The result is a two-piece connecting rod that has rough surfaces that are an exact match. When the two pieces are fitted together, they will join perfectly and result in improved strength in the bearing area. Torque to yield bolts are used on the connecting rod bearing cap assemblies. Be sure to follow all shop manual procedures during assembly, and remember that the bolt must be replaced when loosened or removed. The cylinder heads used on the 4.6 liter engine are of a cast aluminum, overhead camshaft design. The unique feature of the cylinder heads are their ability to be interchanged with one another. It is important to note that although the cylinder heads are interchangeable, the camshafts are not. Basically, the only changes that would be necessary to switch the cylinder heads from one side to the other would be to switch timing chain tensioner locations and the camshafts. The tensioner oil feed hole plugs also must be relocated. The cylinder head gaskets are a steel core with laminated Teflon gasket surfaces. Unlike the cylinder heads, the cylinder head gaskets are not interchangeable. The 4.6 liter engine uses a single overhead camshaft design, which allows for better performance and durability of the engine. The camshaft lobes are narrow in width and have a high lift, long duration profile. Narrowing the width of the lobes decreases the weight of the camshaft. The high lift, long duration profile of the camshaft lobes causes improved volumetric efficiency characteristics for added performance. Another new feature of the 4.6 liter engine cylinder head is that the camshafts are held in place by camshaft cluster caps. These are two one-piece upper bearing assemblies that hold the camshaft in place and provide the upper bearing surface. The camshaft bearings are the machined surfaces of the cylinder head and cluster cap. If the bearing surface is damaged, the cylinder head and or camshaft must be replaced. The proper order must be followed when removing the camshaft clusters. The torquing sequence is used to tighten the bolts. The proper sequence must be followed to prevent damage to the camshaft. Roller cam followers are used to convert the rotary motion of the camshaft to the up and down motion needed for valve operation. The cam followers are beveled at the point where the followers contact the valve. This bevel causes the valve to rotate as it operates. This rotational motion of the valve helps prevent carbon from building up on the valve seat for continued smooth engine operation.
Hydraulic lash adjusters are used to ensure constant cam follower to valve contact. The hydraulic lash adjusters are similar to conventional hydraulic lifters and mount directly to the cylinder head. Note, hydraulic lash adjusters cannot be serviced and must be replaced. A two valve per cylinder configuration is used on the 4.6 liter engine. A large intake valve and a small exhaust valve allow for better volumetric efficiency. The valves are designed with a thin seat area for reduced weight. Note, care should be taken during engine service to prevent the valves from being damaged. The valve guide seals are a one-piece design that includes the spring seat. The assembly is fully seated into a recess in the cylinder head. This design prevents the spring seat from rotating during engine operation to maintain a more uniform valve spring tension at all times. Another feature of the cylinder head is the use of an oil orifice. The oil orifice is used to maintain sufficient oil pressure in the lubrication system and still provide oil for lubrication of the camshaft journals, cam followers, and timing chain tensioners. An oil reservoir area is built into the cylinder head and allows for a small amount of engine oil to be held in the cylinder head to lubricate the camshaft bearings and components during the initial startup and running of the engine. Timing of the engine is accomplished through the use of two timing chains, one for each camshaft driven by sprockets on the crankshaft. The two separate crankshaft sprockets are mounted back to back at the front end of the crankshaft. Care should be taken to install these sprockets in their proper location. The timing chains and sprockets are marked with indicators for setting engine timing. Marks are stamped in the crankshaft and camshaft sprockets, and gold color chain links are located on the timing chains to make proper engine timing easier to identify. The 4.6 liter engine is not a freewheeling engine. Very close tolerances are maintained to allow for maximum performance. It is recommended that the crankshaft and camshaft never be rotated separately. Rotating the crankshaft or camshaft separately can result in engine damage. Timing chain tension is maintained by two hydraulic chain tensioners mounted on the cylinder heads. These tensioners are fed oil from the main oil galley and hydraulically keeps tension on the timing chains. The hydraulic chain tensioners incorporate a safety ratchet lock to prevent the tensioner from collapsing when oil pressure is not present, like when the engine is shut off. Should service of the timing chains or tensioners become necessary, the tensioners must be collapsed before installation. Refer to the shop manual for the procedures to bleed the hydraulic cylinders of the tensioners. Engine oil pressure for the 4.6 liter engine is provided by a G-rotor type positive displacement oil pump, similar to the type used on other engines like the 1.9 liter engine and is mounted on the crankshaft. The oil pump uses an internally vented relief valve to maintain system oil pressure at 20 to 55 PSI, depending on engine speed and oil viscosity. The cooling system used in the 4.6 liter engine is of a unique design. The water pump and cooling fan are driven by the accessory drive belt. A new feature of the cooling system is the pressurized radiator supply tank. Coolant levels are checked and filled at the radiator supply tank. The supply tank should not be opened while the coolant is hot. A newly designed intake manifold is used on the 4.6 liter engine. The evaporative casting process is used in the manufacturing of this manifold. This modern casting technique is used to help assure smooth runner surfaces for improved airflow and performance. The intake manifold is mounted to the cylinder heads on flat surfaces. The new mounting configuration relieves stress areas and the cylinder head movement that was common during intake manifold tightening on B-type engines. The runners of the intake manifold are a tuned port design for a more even distribution of air to the cylinders for improved performance. The intake manifold also incorporates PCV channels on the intake manifold runners and the intake manifold gasket. These channels provide a path for gases from the PCV system to be metered into the intake of each cylinder for a more even air fuel mixture. Both PCV channels are connected to the PCV valve by two hose connections, one from each runner mounted on the back of the intake manifold. A mass airflow meter senses the airflow to the engine this information is monitored by the EEC-4 system to help it control fuel delivery accurately. The 4.6 liter engine is equipped with a multi-port sequential electronic fuel injection system. The fuel injectors used with this system feature a new deposit resistant four hole design. This new design helps to reduce the deposits that can cause clogging on the tips of the injectors. The EGR system used on the 4.6 liter engine 
is the pressure feedback electronic type. The ignition system used on the 4.6 liter engine is the electronic distributorless ignition system. The water pump, cooling fan, and accessories on the 4.6 liter engine are driven by a single serpentine belt. A spring-loaded self-tensioner is used to maintain constant belt tension at all times. This tensioner eliminates the need for periodic maintenance regarding belt tension. The special tools needed to service the 4.6 liter engine are rear seal adapter, tool number T91P-6701-A, dash dash valve stem seal installer, tool number T91P-6571-A, dash dash valve spring compressor, tool number T91P-6563-A, dash cam positioning tool, tool number T91P-6256-A, dash and throttle body adjustment wrench, tool number T91P-9550-A. Dash the 4.6 liter modular engine has been designed to offer many advantages. The use of interchangeable engine components, a reduction in engine size and weight, a high horsepower output rating, excellent fuel efficiency, a reduction in exhaust emissions, and improved durability. These advantages add up to an engine that meets today's automotive needs for service and customer satisfaction. Early 1991 new model training is available at district training centers covering the early release vehicles Escort, Tracer, Capri, and Explorer. The upcoming new model materials covering Ford new model service features, Lincoln Mercury new model service features, 4.6 liter modular engine unique features and service information, AXODE automatic transaxle theory and diagnosis, Steering Brakes Chassis Service will be sent to your dealership in August at no charge. So watch for release dates in upcoming messages on OASIS and in TSBs. Contact your district office for any further information regarding new model training.